TechScan presents Evaluating Closures Topic Center of Force Trajectory Patterns The center of force illustrates the balance of occlusion in the 2D window using a red and white diamond shaped marker. The trail left behind the marker is called the center of force trajectory. Based on how the center of force moves during the closure, the dentist can get an idea if the patient's bite is well balanced or where the occlusion may need improvement. Now we will walk through each of the four examples and explain what the center of force trajectory is indicating. The first example shows an ideal center of force which starts in the center and moves down the midline of the arch. This pattern illustrates early anterior contact followed by equal bilateral posterior contacts. The second example demonstrates a dominant left side. Notice how the center of force starts in the center then migrates towards the left posterior teeth. Also, a long trajectory suggests excessive time during closure. The third example shows the center of force starting from the right posterior and moving anteriorly towards the middle of the arch. This center of force pattern demonstrates a premature posterior right side contact followed by an anterior left contact, which causes the trajectory path to move diagonally from the right posterior to the left anterior teeth. The last example shows the center of force moving from right anterior to left posterior. This may indicate a shift or slide in force. In recap, a straight and smooth center of force trajectory is ideal and the movement of the center of force and its trajectory may indicate issues with the bite.